From a Rick and Morty collab to a pickaxe with similar animations to the Leviathan Axe, here are Fortnite's best skin combos as of Chapter 2, Season 7. Sunny with the Rainbow Clover and the Star Wand. This skin can be unlocked by reaching page 2 and buying the skin for 9 stars. And it's one of the best looking skins in this battle pass since it doesn't look too newbie and not too sweaty. Then when using the Rainbow Clover with this skin, that helps it make it look sweatier if you want to go for that sweaty look with this skin. Then now would be the perfect time to use this skin since it's new and fresh because after a while you might get tired of it from seeing everyone using it over and over. Travis Scott without a back bling and the Fret Basher. This combo might seem weird to some of you because of the pickaxe, but what if I told you this pickaxe has a similar animation to the Leviathan Axe? And of course, it's not the same, but you could temporarily use this if you wanted to play Arena with a pickaxe similar to the Leviathan Axe, since if you didn't know, Fortnite temporarily disabled it to fix its swing animation. Then you can also unlock the Fret Basher by reaching page 2 and buying it for 7 Battle Pass stars. Dr. Sloan without a back bling with the Harley hitter for the pickaxe. This season has a lot of good Battle Pass skins compared to the other seasons, because there have only been two bad Battle Pass skins this season. As a comparison, other seasons might have one or two good skins. And I feel like the Harley hitter is the perfect pickaxe to use with Dr. Sloan since she's a simple skin that will most likely be sweaty. But to unlock the skin, you'll have to reach page 8 and spend 9 Battle Pass stars. Kuno with the Shattered Wings and the Leviathan Axe. This is one of those sweaty combos that you could still use since you really don't see many people using it. Then it seems like this is one of those combos that shouldn't go out of style because the Kuno's a known skin. But it's not an overrated skin or anything like that, which is pretty good. But the bad thing about this combo is you can't use it in Arena at the moment since we're using the Leviathan Axe with it. So if you want to use it in Arena, just use Michonne's Katana or the Star Wand until everything is fixed. The Atlanta Hawks NBA skin with the Sunsprout and the Star Wand. I don't think the NBA skins will be getting old anytime soon, plus they just came out not too long ago. Then it doesn't matter which NBA skin you use because as long as you use the pickaxe and back bling, you'll have yourself a nice looking combo. I just personally like the Atlanta Hawks skin. And hey, it's even up to you on what number you want to use. And this is a combo on the sweatier side compared to some of the other combos on this list. Rick Sanchez with the Spectral Spine and Sludgehammer Pickaxe. Well, if you were curious what my favorite combo on this list is, it's most definitely this one. I bet you can't name a skin better than Rick. At least, to me. And the thing with this skin is that you don't unlock it too early, unless you buy Battle Pass tiers. So we won't see everyone running around as Rick at the moment. Because he's back on page 10, you'll have to wait to have 90 rewards before unlocking anything off of that page. Then I also love how you can use tryhard back blings with him. Fanatic with the Black Knight Shield and the Vision Axe. I can't be the only one out there who thinks this skin looks like it was made to just go with the Vision Axe. Because of the Fanatic's design, it seems like it goes with the Vision more than the skin they released with the Vision. So we had to use this pickaxe with this combo. The skin can be bought for 1200 V-Bucks, and it's a skin that only looks right when using a good combo with it. Because if you're not using this one, she's probably not going to be looking her best. Gugimon without a back bling and the bold bar. Although the combo looks nice, if you wanted to know more about Gugimon, he's another collab this season, so it seems like this will be another season of collaborations since, well, we already have him, Rick, and Superman. And Gugimon is one of the mascots for a super plastic brand. He also has a verified Instagram page with over 1.3 million followers, but this seems like an Easter skin to me. And that's mainly why we're using the bowl bar with it. He's a bunny, come on, can you blame me? The yellow version of the dummy with the rainbow clover and the noggin. I know many people use the dummy with the star wand, so you could use the star wand if you want to. But I wanted to change things up a little bit, so we're using the noggin pickaxe, even though this pickaxe came out with the skin. And that's because this is one of those pickaxes that's underrated and cheap at the same time, since its price is only 500 V-Bucks. Iris without a back bling and the studded axe. I'm sure many of you watching this video right now own the Iris and might be able to make this combo since the Iris is a starter pack skin. And the starter packs are usually some of the skins that a lot of players will buy, because some players buy them for extra V-Bucks when they feel like they want to get a new skin but they don't feel like spending 10 or $20 since they can just spend $5 and get a skin with V-Bucks. 
And this is a starter pack you don't see anyone using anymore, since it's really been a while since it came out. Spark plug with the Cactus Jack and the Sword of Daywalker. Hopefully you have the items to make this combo if you like it, because I don't know when the Sword of Daywalker or Cactus Jack will return. But for this combo, make sure you use the ink style of the spark plug. If not, the combo will not look nearly as good, because red and black go together really well, especially with this combo. Then also, you don't really ever see people using this combo with the Sword of Daywalker. Chigusa without a back bling and Michonne's katana. There really aren't too many back blings that go well with the anime style skins especially, so we're not going to use one for this combo to keep everything nice and clean. Then the only back blings that we could have used on this combo were the shattered wings or the spectral spine, but I didn't feel like using either of those on this combo. And I have not been seeing many people using these skins anymore, so are they losing a little bit of popularity or is it just because of all the other new skins that just came out? The red style of Surf Witch without a back bling, just like the last one, and the Candy Axe. This skin looks way better than the regular haze to me. And that's most likely because of how much detail this haze has. Like, it just stands out way more than the regular one, and it seems more vibrant. And this skin does not come out too often. The last time it was available was on September 3rd, 2020. So from the looks of it, so far, this skin only gets released during the summer. It is the Surf Witch, so that checks out. Putrid Playmaker. Now, we mentioned many styles of soccer skins, including the Neymar Jr. skin, but we never talk about the zombie one. So for this combo, you're going to use the Rainbow Clover for the back bling and the Hammerhead Morty for the pickaxe. Now, this pickaxe isn't the sweatiest out there, but it's for sure good. And I love the effect that it has whenever you pick something up while using it. You also have to reach page 10 to unlock this skin and spend 7 Battle Pass stars. And I'm curious, do you like the new Battle Pass layout, or would you prefer the older one? Arctic Zadie with the Frozen Red Shield with the Icebreaker for the pickaxe. I know some people came to the video looking for the sweatiest combo of all. And if you did, here's a combo for you! But stay tuned because the last combo might actually be sweatier. And this is a combo that you'd see being used by the best and most toxic player in the lobby who cares about nothing. Except for competitive Fortnite. And the players who use this skin tend to have gamer tags or epic IDs that are unique and sweaty. Terra without a back bling with the fresh cut. Has anyone who's watching this video seen someone using this skin? This is one of the, if not the, most underrated tryhard skin out there. Because back in Chapter 2 Season 2, you had a few EU pros using this skin. But after the next season, you saw no one using it. So I don't even know if there's anyone out there who uses this skin at all. But it has the perfect look and colors to go with every tryhard item out there. So if you own it, give it a try. This skin could use some love. Sophia with the Sunsprout and Hardly Hitter. When using this skin, if you want it to look good, the only pickaxe you could use with her is the Harley Hitter. Or maybe the Star One. That pickaxe is just too good. In the end though, we went with the Harley Hitter. And it's, this is one of those skins that does not need a back bling, but the Sunsprout adds that little cherry on top. Bracer with the Star Shot and Star One. The Star Shot is one of those back blings that I've never put on the list before. And that's because it can be a noob or tryhard item. It really just depends on the skin you use it with. This really is one of those back blings that only looks good on certain skins. So, enter the Bracer. Tsuki with the Red Knight Shield and Crimson Axe. When you combine the Red Knight Shield and Crimson Axe with the right skin, you'll have a truly insanely fire combo. Like this one. Now go forth and make sweaty combos. Click on a video on the screen and subscribe.